Hello everyone, let's circle uh, the July 2016 uh, task which we are supposed to draw this block in 3D. So, uh, starting off, we are supposed to change the units to millimeters, precision to one decimal place, and the model space to 3D model. So, straight up to our CAD uh, application, we will first of all start with changing the workspace to 3D modeling for this gear icon. Then, uh, after we have gotten to the 3D workspace, we will come to the application menu. Then, from the drawing utilities, we will go to units. Then, from there, we will change it, uh, the units to millimeters. Then, the precision to one decimal place, as indicated in the question. Back to the question, this is how we are going to tackle this. We are going to take this as uh, being made from different independent entities. This triangular section on its own, this particular part with a groove on its own, this uh, back part with a chamfer on its own, then the lower bit also on its own. So we are going to draw those uh, entities independently, then afterwards you are going to select all of them, arrange them in uh, order the way it appears, then join them using the 3D joining uh, tool. So uh, to start off, we will come to the home tab from the uh, UCS, then from here we will want to start off with this front view. So for, from the front view we can model this space, then we can press pull it a distance of 16. So we can see that um, it has an overall height of 64 minus 16, which is 48. So from here going upwards it's 48. Then from the end to the other end, which is 16, 16, and 32, that one is 64. So we'll draw a rectangle of 48 height and 64 in length. So from the front, uh, after changing this UCS, we'll change the coordinates to B. Then from here, we'll draw a rectangle, a rectangle having a length of 64 and a height of 48 then enter so i'll move it away from move from this uh, yx uh, cartesian plane and draw from such a place so after having that i'm supposed to fillet the edge top left with a radius of 32. So I'm going to select that edge and select that edge as well so that I have that particular shape as the front view. Afterwards I'll come back to home then from the home tab I can now give it a thickness of 16 by using the press pull command which is found at this point. So I click on it, come to the bounded area and give it a distance of 16. Then enter. Afterwards, uh, I can come and draw and draw um, the base. We can start off with the base. So the base has a length of 96 minus 96 minus uh, 16. Eh? 96 minus 16, which is 80. So from here to there is 80. And the rest is 64. So I'll draw that 80 and 64. So I'll come to my application. Then I have triangle. Oops. I'm supposed to first of all come to home. Then from home, go to the uh, top. So from the top, I'm going to have a dimension of uh, can even start to it for me a dimension of 64 dimension of 64 then tab then the other one was 80 then enter so after having that uh, let me let me just move this away from the initial object let's say to turn on my auto so let's say to somewhere but then uh, we're going to draw this particular groove. So the groove has a length of uh, 20 and uh, 
thickness of 16 so I'm going to draw 20 and 16 as well so uh, even from let me draw it from here so the height is uh, the height is uh, well, let me start with the length is 16 then time the height is 20 then enter then afterwards uh, afterwards I need a circle from the midpoint to that particular point so um, to just see what I'm doing clearly I'll just move this to somewhere away from the diagram then I want to trim off the unwanted areas so I'll trim off that part and that part then uh, I'll move it from this bottom corner to that place is 16 so from this corner I need 16 and, uh, so now I'll move this from that place to the end point so 16 is and I delete this polygon so I have that so after having this I now come back to home then from home I can uh, do a press pull I can do a press pull of 16 huh? so I'll come to press pull uh, select the object so the reason it's not selecting is because it's not joined all together so I'll come first and uh, trim okay so I'll come back to top come back to top and uh, break it and break this first of all we join this and this okay then I come and break come and break this as well to that point then again Break it from that point to that point. I'll delete off the mountains, then I'll stretch this to the end. Then afterwards, after having that, I'll join everything together so that I have one single block. After having the single block, now I can come to do my press pull. So I'll select that and leave it a press pull of 16, and then enter. So now I have this part and this part. The next bit is this part and this part. So for those two parts, I'm supposed to come to this left bit. So I'll make sure my UCS is at the world. Then I'll come to the left part. Then I'll make sure I change my view to Y and X. Then from here, I'm going to model, I'm going to model this particular place this particular shape and this particular shape as well so I'll start off with this triangular which is um, uh, basically a line of height 28 and uh, a length of uh, you have to do the math which is 24 plus or rather 16 plus this and this is 16 that is 32 so it is 96 minus 56 which is 40 so this and this is 40 and the height of 28 so 40 and 28 so I have a length from there a distance of 40 enter then uh, height of 28 enter then I just join the two as such then I'll click these three lines and join them all together so that I have that single entity. And then I'll also draw the next one, which is this. So this has a height of 28 and a length of 40. So 28 and 40. So again, I come to this. From there 
So a length of a height of a length of uh, 28, let me just confirm. So a length of 40, then tab and height of 28, then 8, then enter. So after having this, I'm supposed to draw this um, circular groove. So the circular groove falls in between and it has a diameter of 24. So I'll come to the center diameter. From the center, I will need 24 and enter. Afterwards, I'll come and do the trimming. Or if I'm unable to do the trimming, I'll come to the uh, breaker. Then I select the circle, break it at that point, break it again at that point. Then also break this uh, rectangle to that point, break it again to that point, then delete the unwanted, then next join all the independents together so that I have a single entity. Then afterwards, I'm going to press pull it a distance equal to 32 and uh, plus 8, which is 40. Then the other one, 12. So 40 and 12. So I come to home. Then do my first pull. So my first pull of 40. Then this other one, first pull of 12. As such. So what remains is simply arranging. So I move this one slightly away. Also move this one slightly away from our base. Then I delete this 2D. I delete this 2D as well. And then now start the joining. So the joining supposed to join this and this. So let us just look at how it appears. So I'm going to pick it from the end point. So from this end point, I'll join it to this end point. So I'll move this from that end point to that end point. I'll get this to the Then next, I'll join the other one from this farthest end point to this point. So I'll come to move, select, enter then join it from that end point to that particular point and lastly this triangular piece i'll move it enter from that end point to this end point as such so that is the way it appears if you join it all together if we change our view to let's say conceptual you'll see that it appears the way uh, the question required it to appear. As you can see, you have joined it all together, and all the parts are all the parts are there. So, what remains is you select everything all together, then come to uh, solid union, then you click on it once, then uh, you can select the independent, then press enter. So now. If you hover your mouse over it, you realize that every entity has been every entity has been selected. So afterwards, you could input uh, uh, some dimensions. Remember, for dimensions, just come to home. Make sure you change your coordinates to the plane you want to put your dimension. Let's say if I wanted to put my dimension on this plane, I'll put my view there, uh, and then I'll accept. Then I'll come now to annotate, then pick an annotation from, let's say, that particular corner, that corner. So that is 96, uh, and so on and so forth. So um, you could. Uh, do that and put all the dimensions but basically that is how that is what 
that question wanted us to do to come up with that block in AutoCAD as shown for us described uh, in this uh, lecture. Thank you. We'll, uh, I hope to meet you next time as well.